Hello, my amazing subscribers and welcome newcomers. I am Carnage the Creator and welcome back to a brand new episode of Survival Adventures in the wonderful world of Carnage. That is right, we are back again in the world of Carnage and today we're going to get up to some awesomely cool stuff. We're going to uh, we're gonna start the day off right. First off, we need some snack -em, so we're going to eat ourselves some delicious and nutritious cooked mutton really quick and then we're going to follow that up. Up with some delicious and nutritious carrots. Mm, mm, mm. These carrots are delicious. So let's go ahead and get started today. What we've been working on the last couple episodes, we've been working on this here barn. Oh, there's some rotten zombie flesh. I guess there was some zombies out here. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go over to the back wall of this thing. Bandit's hanging out over here. Come on, Bandit. We're gonna go to the back wall because what we need to do today is we need to get this back wall done because then. We can officially have all the walls done, and once we have all the walls done, uh, we can do some other cool stuff. So, let's go ahead and hop right on over here. And what we need to do, we need to actually mirror what we did in the front there. So, we're going to do um, two blocks like this. We're going to put a red one like this. We'll put a, a white one like that. Put another red one right there. And then we'll do two, just like so. And then all we need to do is go ahead and put our red wool down like this. Look at this. We're building already. We're getting this back wall done. We're not wasting any time. Also, we do need to grab ourselves some cobblestone because the cobblestone does need to go um, in this little middle section right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that really quick. We're going to go ahead and fill this all the way in. And this is going to this is gonna match the front side. And I know there's a door on the on the front side. I don't know if we'll end up putting a door on the back side. Um, but ultimately, it is going to match. So we're going to go ahead and place this right here. And run these all the way across like that. And then we're going to place these all across like that. Don't worry, Bandit. I'll be able to see you in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and place that block right there. Look, Bandit, I'm over here. I told you I'd be able to see you. He's looking. He's looking through there. He's like, where do cards go? Hey, Bandit. Bandit, I'm right here, buddy. Ban Bandit. He's he's playing the staring game with the wall. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, finish this up. We're going to put another white wool right there. We'll put another white wool right there. And then we'll put two more right there. Look at that. We are we're getting everything done here today. We're going to go ahead and place these. Oh, my goodness. We're going to mess it up real quick but let's go ahead and place this last one right here and then what we're going to do we're going to try to do a little bit of this floor plan i don't know if we're going to be able to uh and if we're going to be able to do it how i how i want right away we might have to put some thought into it but oh there's a wolf over here killing killing sheep but anyways we're gonna go ahead and um First off, get rid of all the stuff we don't need. So we don't need this block right here. And we also don't need pretty much any of these blocks that are um, on the side right here. So we don't need this one or this one. And we don't need anything on this bottom layer. And the reason I'm getting rid of all these blocks is because I want every single block that's available to be known. So I don't want I don't want to have any of these blocks just completely filled in with random blocks because I might need that space while I'm working in here. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these blocks right here. So now we have it all completely hollowed out. There's no stray blocks anywhere. So I do believe uh, we could go ahead and start trying to get this floor plan done. So I'm thinking what we're gonna need. We're gonna need a lot more. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more oak wood to get like the ceiling and everything like that done. But Wolf, what are you doing here? But we can at least try to get this doorway done. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to get this much done at least. So we're gonna go ahead and double layer this. We want our we want our doorway to be at least two blocks thick. We don't wanna we don't wanna have a little skimpy doorway. We gotta have a two block thick doorway. And then we'll go ahead and place this block here. We'll go ahead and place this block right here. And then at this point, we could go ahead and do something. Um, I'm thinking because this door is only is only two blocks tall, I'm thinking I want the inside to be a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go up a little bit further. So we're going to go one, two, three. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. One, two, three. And then what we should probably do is uh, run this cobblestone right here. We're going to basically be adding some detail like this. And uh, let's also grab ourselves something for contrast. Let's give ourselves some oak like that. And then I'm thinking what we should probably do is run some cobblestone up like this. Kind of leave like a little gap kind of thing. So we'll go ahead and do this. Maybe this won't actually turn out right. Maybe we'll have to do something completely different. But we're going to we're gonna at least try this. Again, I do have a rough idea of what I want to do with this barn. So some of this stuff, um, some of this stuff is is kind of already thought up. But we're going to go ahead and get rid of this block right here. Again, I don't want any stray blocks that we don't actually need. So I'm thinking this doorway should work out for us, right? This kind of opens it up into a bigger area area and then we could kind of um then we could kind of do whatever we want in here so let's uh let's go ahead and kind of dig all this out right here 
and we're gonna get rid of all these blocks right here. We want to have ourselves a nice little pathway in the middle because what I want is I want to have like um, little pens for the animals on the left and on the right. So I want to have like um, two or three little farms um, on the left and two or three little farms on the right. So basically, let's go ahead and first off get this whole entire uh, situation sorted out. We're gonna put cobblestone down like this. Which means we should also probably put it right here as well. We'll also put some... Oh, we gotta, we gotta break that with a pickaxe. We'll put it like that. This should work out for us. And also, you know what we could do right here? How about... Um, let's grab ourselves some fences. But, you know what? I think we need something other than oak. Because we have we have um, normal oak right here. We need to try to get ourselves some dark oak. Or some spruce. Let's go see what we have down in our chest. And then we could also go on over to the... Um, to the to the tree farm if we need to so i'm trying to get some fence gates right now to add some detail so let's go ahead and go down here and see what we got over here in our wood chest we should have some stuff oh look at that we have ourselves three spruce fences that's not going to be enough but that's at least a start so we have ourselves three spruce fences and this is dark oak um i don't exactly know what i'm going to need i feel like i'm going to need spruce more than dark oak so we're going to go ahead and hang on to all of that and uh, we're going to grab the spruce wood slabs as well. And um, I think everything else is just going to stay in here. We've got everything that's made out of spruce. All the rest of this is dark oak. So we're going to leave all the dark oak. And we're going to go um, right on over here really quick. Because I just noticed I do have bones in my inventory. That I'm going to go ahead and turn into bone mill. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and turn all of our bones into bone mill. So we can save some space in our inventory. And also speaking of saving space in our inventory. Um, I don't think we need these papers anymore. Because we do have the books already completely done. So we'll put these papers up right here. We can also... Put up this sunflower right here and over here in this chest we can put up this apple and also we can cook up this mutton actually no no we'll just we'll leave the mutton in here for now no let's leave this in the kitchen so that we don't forget to cook it up uh, we'll go ahead and cook it up and uh and do whatever we need to do with that also i don't know if we're going to need any more red or white wool anytime soon so we could go ahead and put that wool up right now because we're going to be basically working on the floor plan first and then we could come back down here and uh, get some wool if we need it later on so let's go ahead and run on up here and it looks like oh my goodness it is getting dark we need to uh we need to go to sleep really quick we do not want the mob spawn again while we're working on our farm normally i wouldn't mind um, the mob spawning in because we could just take out all their faces with our awesomely cool diamond sword. But today, we're going to try to get some more work done here on this barn. So we're going to go ahead and go to sleep. And also, speaking of getting work done on this barn, if we're going to be working with wood and stuff like that, we definitely need to make ourselves a new axe. So uh, let's uh, let's rearrange our inventory just a little bit here. And we're going to go make ourselves a brand new axe. Now, we don't have a ton of diamonds, so we're going to have to go with an iron axe for now. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the tools right here. We'll go with an iron axe, just like that. And I will also go ahead and put our mutton in here. We could start cooking that up. So we'll put two mutton in there. I think we already have one. Yeah, we had one more in here. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And all of those can cook up and, um, and, and turn into cooked mutton and all that. And we'll go ahead and run right on out here. And we'll get this barn looking good. So let's go ahead and run on over here. Um, again, I don't know what we're going to do specifically. But I'm thinking what we could do... Let's uh let's grab our let's grab our spruce fences. We could run these like right here, here, and here. Well, that's only three of them. We're gonna need more. And then we could have like a fence gate thing right here. Um, just as like an extra backup thing. I'm gonna have all these in um all the little pens. They're gonna have their own fence gates anyway, but we could have like one extra little backup gate right here if we want. So I'm thinking this is gonna look good. It does add some extra contrast right there. I'm glad I didn't use oak. I'm glad I used um spruce. But you know what? We are going to need some more spruce. So let's go ahead and go on over to the tree farm and get ourselves some spruce wood. We're gonna need as much of it as we can get. Um, simply because even if we don't use it now, we can use it later on. So let's go ahead and chop down all of these spruce trees over here. And once we do that, we can go back to the barn and we can get stuff going on. So we're going to go ahead and chop down this tree right here. And all these are, all these are, um, pretty tall trees right here. So we should get a good amount. So we've got, uh, we got five spruce from that one. We're going to get six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, this one's tall. And then 13 spruce total from that. So basically from two trees, we got 13. So we should end up with maybe somewhere around 26, 27. Hopefully somewhere around there. So we're going to continue chopping down all these right here. Oh, that one's actually too tall. So we're going to have to go up a little bit higher. 
Then we're gonna go ahead and chop it down really quick. And then we're gonna go all the way back down and uh, get this. Look, we're actually gonna end up with more than 26, it looks like. Unless this tree's really short, uh, we're gonna end up with a little bit more than what I thought. So we're gonna end up with, look at that, we got 27. I said 26 or 27, that's exactly how much we got. I didn't think I was gonna hit the nail on the head with that. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and put the cobblestone up really quick, grab our spruce, and start replanting this. Now we don't have many spruce saplings, I don't think, so we might have to stick around here for just a second. Um, to grab, where did, I just saw a spruce sapling, what happened to it? I don't know what happened to it. We're gonna have to go ahead and go right on over here and see if we have any spruce saplings. I really don't know if we have any, so we're gonna, oh, that's a crafting one. We're gonna look really quick. Oh, we do, we have 11 spruce saplings, so that's, that's not a lot, but we do have some. So we're gonna go ahead and put this cooked mutton in our inventory like this, because it looks like we're gonna need to eat ourselves some delicious and nutritious mutton. And then we'll also go ahead and eat ourselves uh, one more carrot really quick. And we'll replant our saplings. Now, we don't want to use all of our saplings without collecting more. So, we're going to grab at least a couple more really quick on our way out. So, we now have 12 saplings, which is more than what we started with. So, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and run right on over here. And um, we'll we'll start working on the, uh, on the barn again. So, let's go ahead and put these in there. And we'll run all the way back over here. Man, that's a lot of cows. I don't even know if I should leave all these cows here. Maybe I should kill some of them. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and run on over here. And we're going to try to make ourselves some stuff. So let's, uh, well, you know, let's not make the mistake that we've been making lately. Let's go. Um, oh, actually, we have a crafting table right here. I was going to say, let's go down into the, uh, the storage room and bring a crafting table over to the barn. But you know what? Let's do that anyway because we're going to be building a lot of stuff over there. So even though we have a crafting table that's over by the um, over by the other thing, let's actually bring one with us. So we're going to bring this crafting table right here. And we're going to go all the way over to the barn. And we're just going to leave it on over right in front of the barn, right in front of the doorway, in case we need it while we're over there. Because it's going to be a lot of building. Um, the main floor of the barn, I would say, is going to be the easy part. But we have an entire roof to build. And we have um, all the interior of the second floor that we're going to build. So um, it is going to uh, it is going to be very... Very much um, awesome and cool and stuff, but it's going to take a lot of time to get it done. So, let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves as many spruce planks as we can. I don't think we're going to need any spruce logs, so let's make as many spruce planks as we can. This should be um, close to two stacks. There we go. And then what we're going to do, let's make ourselves some, some spruce fences. We do need more sticks, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a bunch of sticks first. We'll make ourselves... we got 21 sticks. That should be enough to make ourselves a good amount of fences, so we'll make ourselves... Um, let's start out with three, but we are going to need some fence gates. So we're going to need, um, we're going to need some, uh, actually, no, we have everything for it. I was going to say we're going to need some more sticks, but we actually have enough. So we're going to start out with four fence gates and we'll see, we'll see where we go from there. So let's go ahead and place these down like this. And then we'll use some fence gates right here. Now I might not keep these fence gates here, but um, basically I'm thinking I can leave them there kind of as like a, a backup in case they, the animals get out of their main fence. I can just run on over here, close this up, and easily lure them back in. So I don't have to worry about any animals ever actually getting out. So with that said, um, I'm thinking this is going to be the main ceiling right here. It's right where, right where this block is, maybe like one block taller than that. Um, but what I do want to do is I want to kind of use the grass that's already here. So what I'm going to do, oh, there's a wolf right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of this right here. I'm going to make all of this into grass. So we need to get every last little bit of the inside of here. Wolf, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to kill you. I don't want to, but I have to. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of this stone inside of here. And then we're going to fill it in with dirt. We have 16 dirt right now. That's not going to be um, quite enough, but we do have plenty of dirt down in the storage room. So we can go ahead and uh, dig up all this right here. And I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll kind of lower this pathway right here. We won't actually have it um, just even with the dirt. We'll kind of do something a little bit unique with it. So I'm thinking we'll need to dig out all of this. Well, we're going to have to dig this all out anyway, even if we just go with normal cobblestone. But we'll go ahead and dig all this out right here. And we'll have a pathway right here. And then basically, uh, we'll make it like a little bit wider actually. Let's make it, let's make it a four wide pathway just so it looks nice and big inside of here. And um, basically what we'll do is we'll have our, um, we'll have our, our farm is here. Well, maybe we'll make it too wide. Maybe we'll make it uh, four wide. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But the first things first, we do need to make all of this into grass um, for the sole purpose of keeping the animals in here. If we're going to have animals, they have to have something to eat. So we're going to we're gonna turn all of this into grass and we're going to make sure that every last block is grass before we get out of here. So let's go ahead and chop all of this down right here. Now, we could have done this before. I wasn't thinking um, that we might leave the grass on the same exact level as what it is. But if that's the case, if that's what we're doing, which it looks like that's what we're going to be doing, uh, we might as well go ahead and turn all of this into grass really quick. So let's go ahead and get rid of these last blocks right here. 
and then we'll go ahead and get rid of these last little chunks over here we've got all of it done all throughout this whole thing except for this side right here so let's go ahead and get rid of all these right here we'll get all these last little bits of stone out the way and we can actually start filling this one in with dirt on our way out so let's go ahead and fill all this in right here fill that in right there go ahead and get all these out the way and I know, I know it looks like I have a lot of dirt. I've got 32, but that's just not going to be enough for this whole thing, I don't think. So we're going to, um, we're going to fill this in a little bit, and then we're going to have to go get some more dirt, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and fill this in as much as we can. We've got 15 more. This should be able to fill in a good little patch right here. Not quite enough to fill in this patch, but it is, it is a start. So there we go. We're going to fill that all in. I think we should only need about a stack more. I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it, but let's go ahead and run right on over here. And uh, let's get ourselves some more dirt. So we're going to go down into our storage room. I would say we should probably, if we have an extra chest, we should probably bring one over there. So that we can leave stuff like wool and stuff like that um, over, by the, uh, over by the barn. But we don't have to do that right this second. So, oh, look at that. We actually have six dirt in there. Normally, I would never look in this chest for dirt. But I just looked in there. We had six dirt. And this one, we don't have any dirt. And this one, we should have plenty of dirt. We've got nine dirt here. We got a full stack here. You know what? Let's just put up this um, Let's put up this 15 dirt that we don't need. So we'll go ahead and go back on upstairs. And we'll go outside really quick. And we'll fill the rest of this in. And then what we'll do is we'll do some type of little pathway in the middle. Um, we're going to need we're gonna need cobblestone. So I'm thinking we're going to probably just gonna grab another stack of cobblestone in case we need it really quick. So let's um, do that while we're down here. I was going to just go ahead and run right on out. But you know what? Let's plan ahead a little bit. Let's do something we usually don't do. And uh, let's go ahead and run on outside. So... Let's eat ourselves some carrots on our way out, make sure that our hunger is nice and good, and off we go to get this barn sorted out. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking sometime in the next episode we might just maybe, 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 we might be able to start moving in at least a couple animals, at least the ones that the wolves cannot actually get to. We have to do something about the wolves before we move in all the other animals, but let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and fill all this in really quick. We're going to put the dirt everywhere where the dirt needs to be. Let it grow in and stuff while the while the sun is overhead and stuff like that. And uh, we will be putting lights and stuff in here so the grass will be growing when the animals eat it. So um, everything should be good in here. Um, but let's go ahead and fill this all in right here. And I'm thinking we could go ahead and do something with the pathway here. So basically the, uh, the actual um, enclosures that's going to hold the animals is going to be right here. So um, let's let's do something real quick. Let's do like a little bit of an outline here. We're going to go with we're gonna go with this being as tall as this. We'll go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side. We're gonna do this is gonna be as tall as this. And what we're going to do is we'll have um, let's say a little gateway. So we're gonna have this right here. Then we'll skip one, two, three. I would say three is wide enough. So let's go ahead and put another one here. And then we'll go ahead and kind of kind of do something like this. So we can kind of split it up. So we'll do something like this. Did I go too high? I think I went too high. Yep, I went too high. So let's go ahead and get rid of this block right here. And uh, basically what we'll do is we'll put a fence gate in between here. And we'll do the same kind of thing here. So it'll be one, two, three. We'll put this block right here. And then we can go ahead and go up one, two, and three. And basically we'll have a fence gate here. A fence gate here. And this would be kind of just like split off in the middle like this. And then this side will be kind of the same thing. We'll basically have like little pens for the animals right here. So we'll go ahead and run this right from here. And uh, we ran, <laughs> we just ran out. But um, you guys get the get the idea. These are going to be like the little enclosures. We'll have ourselves little fence gates across like this. So we need to have ourselves a cool little floor plan. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll go. Oh, we actually already had a stack of um, cobblestone up here. I didn't notice we had so much cobblestone. Uh, we'll probably do like stairs or something like this so that it kind of lowers this whole floor a little bit. So let's go ahead and um, let's make some stairs. Let's see how it looks. We're not going to completely do all this in this episode. Um, it's getting dark, so we are going to go to the Wall of Carnage here very shortly. But um, let's just see how this looks before we go. Let's grab ourselves some cobblestone really quick. And you guys can let me know down in the comments if you guys think that this looks good. So we'll make ourselves um, a full stack of stairs, which you know what? I probably actually already have some stairs um, in the house somewhere. So let's uh, let's go check that um, in the next episode. Hopefully we'll remember. But basically we'll we'll run these across like this. This will kind of lower the floor basically so that we can have a pathway right here. And then we'll have our like little gates right there. And um, also we'll put ourselves some slabs in the middle. So it's not quite as much of a slope. So we don't have that little that little lip sticking up. So we'll go ahead and make ourselves almost a stack of uh, slabs right here. So basically with this, you have like this little lip kind of going up like this. But if we fill it in like so, 
then it should only be for like decoration kind of thing. We don't have like the, the little lip that's like popping up, or at least not, not a big one. You have like just a little bit right here as you're going into the, into the farms. And then you can put like, um, I would say three fence gates right there. So we can go ahead and make ourselves one more fence gate really quick and see how that's gonna turn out. Let's see if we can make ourselves one more spruce. We are gonna need some more sticks. So let's make ourselves a stick really quick and then we'll make ourselves um, one more spruce thing. So we'll go ahead and place this right here. And I'm thinking that's probably gonna be what we do. Something like that. Um, and then we'll do, it looks like we have room for two of them. I don't know if we're gonna have room for three of them because we are gonna need a staircase, but ultimately this should be good. But anyways, Bandit, let's go ahead and go right on over to the House of Carnage. We're gonna go to sleep really quick, and then we're gonna go to the Wall of Carnage and see who has been added today. We're also gonna be trying to avoid things like zombies and creepers on our way. So we're gonna go running on inside really, really quick here. And uh, Bandit should be following us here in just a second. So we're gonna get ourselves a carrot really quick. We're gonna sit Bandit down. We're gonna close these doors, and off we go to sleep. And once we wake up, we should be able to go on over to the wall of carnage and hopefully there's no creepy crawlies out there that are gonna try to stop us from reading who's on there today so off we go we're gonna eat ourselves one more carrot eat ourselves some breakfast since we just woke up and then we're going to go right on down here and see who has been added today so let's go ahead and take a peek out here hold up make sure there's no creepy crawlies make sure there's nothing all right we're good all right, so joining us today on the Wall of Carnage is Mr. Rhino. So congratulations, Mr. Rhino, on getting added to the Wall of Carnage. Now, remember, guys, if you want to get added to the Wall of Carnage, just like Mr. Rhino here, all you got to do is leave some comments down in the comment section below, and I'll be choosing one lucky person each and every episode to add to the Wall of Carnage. But with that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and leave a like on it, and if you are one of the first 100 people to like this video, let me know down in the comment section below but i've been carnage the creator catch you guys in the next video and i'm out carnage the creator yeah 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 you're watching carnage the creator yeah 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 you're watching carnage the creator yeah 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 you're watching carnage the creator 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 yeah